Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we have start learning how to perform CRUD operation in Codeigniter 4 framework. In this tutorial series, we will see how to download Codeigniter 4 framework and then after we will discuss initial setup in Codeigniter 4 framework like how to make database connection, how to create controller file, how create models class file and how can we start Codeigniter 4 development server. In Codeigniter 4 framework, we cannot directly hit URL in browser and web page will be load, but in this framework, we have to start Codeigniter 4 development server and then after it will provide base URL of our Codeigniter 4 framework application. After this initial setup we will perform CRUD operation like create read, update, delete MySQL data operation in Codeigniter 4 framework. Now let's start discussing this tutorial series. So this is our testing database. And here we have one user table, with table column like ID, name, email and gender table column. We will use this table for perform CRUD operation, in Codeigniter 4 framework. First we want to download Codeigniter 4 framework. So for download Codeigniter 4 framework, we need to install Composer in our computer. So by using Composer we can download Codeigniter 4 framework. There is one another pre-requirement for download Codeigniter framework is that, our PHP version must be 7.2 or higher. And third pre-requirement is that, we need to enable enable php internationalization extension from php.in file. So here we have used ZUMP server. So for open php.ini file, we have click on this config button. After click on config button, here we can see different file list. And from this list we have click on php.ini file. After click, here we can see php.ini file, and under this file, we have search php internationalization, and here we can see php internationalization extension, so for enable, we have to just remove this character, and save this file. After save php.ini file, we need to stop Apache server, and then after we have to start Apache server. So here all are set, and we are ready for download Codeigniter 4 framework. For this we have open command prompt, and go to directory in which we want to download Codeigniter 4 framework. After this, we have run command like, composer create project Codeigniter 4 slash app starter crud. So this command will first make crud folder, and under this folder it will download Codeigniter 4 framework. Here on screen, we can see different class has been downloaded like Laravel framework. So here we can see this number of classes will be downloaded with Codeigniter 4 from AVERC. So it will take some time. After downloading Codeigniter 4 framework, here we can see Codeigniter 4 working directory, and here we want to make database connection. So, we have go to app folder, and under this, we have open config folder, and from this folder, we have open database.php file. Under this file, for define MySQL database configuration, here under this dollar default variable, we have set host name set to local host, user name set to root, password set to blank value, and database name set to testing, so it will make database connection, under this Codeigniter 4 framework. After making database connection, we want to create models class, so here on models folder, we have right click, 
and select create new file. So here blank file will be created. So we have saved this file with name like crudmodel.php. Under this file, we have write namespace with app folder slash models. Below this, we have write use statement with code igniter forward slash model. So here it will use code igniter model library under this class and it will automatically connect to database. For define model class definition, we have write class with crud modec extends model. So here we have define class name, which will extend code igniter model class. Under this, we have write protected dollar table variable is equal to user table. So here we have define name of database table. After this, we have write protected dollar primary key variable is equal to id here we have define user table primary key below it we have write protected dollar allowed fields variable is equal to name email and gender table column in array format so here we have define user table field name so here our crud model class has been ready for perform database operation. Now we want to create controllers class. So here on controllers folder, we have right click and select create new file. And so here blank file has been open. And this file we have save as crud.php file. Under this file, we have write namespace with app forward slash controllers. So here we have defined controllers libraries. Next, we want to import crud model class under this controller class. So here we have write use statement with app forward slash models forward slash crud mode. So here we have import crud model class under this class. For define controller class, here we have write crud class name extends base controllers so here this class has been extends to base controller class so here our controller class is ready now under this class we have make index method under this method we have write echo statement with message like hello code igniter 4 now we want to see this message in bwasa So we have go to command prompt and run php spark serve command. This command will launch the server. And now we can view our application in browser by hit this base URL of our code igniter for framework. So friends in browser, we have type code igniter for application base URL slash controller name crud and press enter. So here on web page. We can see text like hello code igniter 4. So in this part, we have seen how to download code igniter 4 framework with required prerequisite and then after we have make database connection and then after we have make models class, controller class and then after we have seen how to set code igniter 4 server for see code igniter 4 application in browser. And in next part, we will start CRUD application and see how can we fetch data from MySQL database and display on web page in table format with pagination link. Lastly, if you have any query or inputs regarding this tutorial, you can ask your query in comment box. If you have liked this video, please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. And lastly don't forget to subscribe our channel for future video tutorials.